Okay, I have decided to leave my country due to the condition because I was a student. So I see that many people, when they graduated from school, they normally don't have work. So when I just finished my school at Kotu Senior, then I also started this journey called Bad Way to Libya. Okay, the most difficulties that I faced was money problem. Because on this journey, <clears throat> anywhere you go, you will have checkpoint and you pay nothing less than $8,000 at any checkpoint. So if you don't give them money, they will start maltreating you, you know, searching on you. Even though they did not beat me, but I get many difficulties, especially in Burkina Faso. And I just reached home, everybody was happy. Because when I was there every day, my dad and mom are calling me to get back home. I just refused for like six months, they've been calling me to come back, but I never agree on them. But at the end, I see that there is no place like home. So that's why I've decided to come back home and start everything. And now, Alhamdulillah, things are going better now. Yeah, I feel proud and happy because I'm in the Gambia, I'm enjoying my life, the smiling coast of Africa, and I thank God I'm still working and I get what I want every day. So right now, thank God, I got everything that, I'm, everything is going smoothly, Alhamdulillah. I'm doing carpentry work and also working in a hotel and, you know, also working in an electrical company. So, Alhamdulillah, things are going better with me. My advice to Gambian, especially my fellow youths, is that we should stay in our country because there is no place like home. And Alhamdulillah, Gambia here, we have natural resources. So my advice is to them is to stay in the country and work as the youth of the Gambia because we are the leaders of tomorrow. So we have to work hard and get everything. Nothing comes easy. So that's my advice for them.